further two hikes in petrol and diesel prices are pinching the pockets of the common man, especially in India. Don't you think it is very important for all of us to know about crude oil, petroleum, how is it priced, why is the price raising and does the government has its role in the price control? First, let's start with the most basic question. What is crude oil? Crude oil is a dark liquid that is found in reservoirs deep under the ground. So how did it go so deep? And what is it formed of? I will tell you. Millions of years ago, the world's oceans were filled with plants and planktons beautifully. When these died, they fell to the bottom of the sea. Over millions of years, these remains were buried under layers of sand and mud. Due to the absence of oxygen right down there and the presence of heat and pressure, the remains turned into oil and natural gas. And now, the obvious question, where do we find this reservoirs? Do we find it everywhere? Oil reservoirs are majorly found in the North Sea, Saudi Arabia, Russia, United States, Iran, Iraq and China. Distribution of oil beneath the earth is not uniform. In few places it is in abundance and in another places in other places it is either absent or still in a resource class. India has 26 sedimentary basins but the production comes from only seven of them. So now we know what is crude oil and how it is formed. So crude oil is directly used as petrol? No. Crude oil is often a dark sticky liquid that cannot be used in its raw form. So for that, the first step is where the crude oil is heated until it boils. The boiling liquid is separated in different liquids and gases. The heavier liquids are in less demand from the customers. And so they are turned into lighter products that are in more demand. Through this process, we get petroleum, diesel, natural gas and so on. So the next very important question we all get is, are we self-sufficient or we import, that is India? No, we are not self-sufficient. And yes, we import. India is the world's third largest crude oil importer and imports 80% of its oil requirements. Yes, that means only around 20% of crude oil is taking care of ourselves without depending on other countries. In February 2021, Iraq remained the top oil supplier to India, followed by the USA. And Saudi Arabia is the fourth largest supplier right now. But how about pricing? That's important, right? Who decides on this? In 2010, listen to carefully, listen to this carefully. In 2010, the price of petrol were determined by the government and were revised every fortnight. But since 2017, prices have been revised daily. Since then, the public sector oil marketing companies make decisions on the pricing of petrol and diesel based on various factors like international product price, exchange rate, tax structure, inland freight and other cost elements. Some state-run companies such as Indian Oil Corporation Limited, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, I'm very sure you know these, and Hindustan Prime Petroleum Corporation Limited. Fix retail prices of petroleum and diesel in the country. There are mainly four factors that influence the rise in the prices. Very, very important. Listen to this. Crude oil, that is the base price. Freight charges, that is incurred in getting that crude oil from the place of availability to the place of requirement. And processing charges to the dealer. This is the second thing. Third, excise duties charged by the government. Yes, 
this is charged and collected by the central government excise duty next dealers commission to the gas station obviously that is where we uh, the, these are the profit to be margin or commission for the dealer who is finally giving us the petrol that is the place where you we get the petrol that is petrol bar okay and the last one is vat value added tax lived by the state government now what is the actual share of every one year this is very important and interesting concentrate i hope you can see it in the image the image as the details as of 1st february 2021 the source of the image is petroleum planning and analysis ioc the base price that is the price charged by the source of crude oil it can be iraq iran or the usa the base price is 29.34 per liter and then the freight charges the charges incurred in transporting the oil from the supplying country to receiving country the freight charges is rupees 0.37 per liter of petrol now after receiving these there has to be someone who processes that crude oil and provide it to the bunks right they are called dealers and there comes the price charge to dealers 29.71 rupees per liter now comes the actual part excise duty excise duty is charged by the central government as i mentioned earlier and collected by the central government and that is 32.98 rupees per liter just not central government that the government has thrown and it is also the state government what which comes around 19.92 rupees per liter and finally dealer commission 3.68 rupees per liter the dealer who finally provides us petrol in the petrol so the actual price of petrol before tax as on february 2021 is 63.11 rupee and after tax 86.30 per liter so we are approximately paying 23.19 rupees per liter just as tax approximately 36% is central government share and 24% is state government share is the tax rate the same no throughout the tax rate has increased i hope you can see the second image on the screen in may 2014 the base price that is 63 percent and the other and the price per liter were 71.41 year as in development in 2021 the base price is just 36 percent but the price has increased to 86.30 per liter how how did it increase even after a decrease in the actual price of crude oil yes that's because there is an increase in state tax and central tax In 2014, the central tax was 16 percent, whereas in 2021, the central tax is 37 percent, and same with the states. In 2014, it was 18 percent, and in 2021, it is 23 percent. So now we know how the petroleum price is actually decided. I hope the session was helpful. Thank you so much for listening. Hope we'll meet up soon with a different topic. Have a great day. Signing off, Jivita Mandra.